If you have a calendar that has group events or various items on there that you want to share with someone else or maybe a classmate or coworkers, you can always choose to share any calendar. To be able to do that, we first need to head into the settings app. So open up the settings app on your iPhone and tap on your name at the very top of your iPhone. Now, from here, you can see midway down is iCloud. We need to get into the iCloud and turn on iCloud Calendar to be able to sync and share it. So tap on iCloud here. And now you can see Save to iCloud. Let's tap on the See All option. From here, all we need to do is go down and you can see iCloud Calendar. Tap on that and make sure this is turned on. If this is turned off, then it won't sync up with everything in iCloud and allow you to share then with other people. So make sure to turn this on. After we've done that, we can go into the Calendar app itself. So open up the Calendar app and you'll be able to see at the bottom center is Calendars. Just tap on the Calendars option. And now you can either choose an existing calendar that maybe you want to share. And if you do want to share it, you can just tap on the little I right next to it. And on here, you'll be able to see this is shared with the family. Or I can go down to iCloud, tap on the I right next to this one, and hit add a person. Now keep in mind, not every single calendar can be shared, but you can always create a new calendar that can be shared. So tap on the add calendar at the bottom left. And then you can see it says add a family calendar, add a subscription. I can just, ju just choose the add calendar here. Now you don't need to add a family calendar if you have an iCloud family set up that will share it with your iCloud family. But you can see this calendar name, let's say on here, I'm gonna say this is named Soccer Games. And on here, you can see accounts. I can choose different accounts, but let's hit add a person. And on here, I can just start typing someone's name. So if I type in their name and tap on it, you can see I can just hit add. Essentially, I've added that person to view and edit it, or I can always tap on it and toggle off allow editing if I just wanted them to be able to view this calendar, but not make changes to that calendar. Now, from here, after you've added everyone that you want to, you can share, change the shared events, show changes, the color of it, notifications for events, and all that stuff. Just hit the Done button and Done. Now, you will have created that calendar. You can just tap the plus at the top right. And then from here, you can scroll down to Calendar. And then on here, you can just go to something like Soccer Games and set a new calendar event that then will be shared with everybody in that specific calendar that you've shared it with.